and then solution under the solution we have something to define the equilibration and we define it here so if you want to check equilibration must be in fluid properties equilibrium so the data on the table there is taken from here so the depth 2001 here the depth and then datum pressure 1364 there and then the gas water contact or water oil contact at 2162 and everything will be set or will be filled or populated with default if you close with slash so basically zero 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 and then other stars okay let's confirm that indeed our water oil contact is around this depth so to 1162 and right here so i touch the grid block and you can see the depth here right 2128 and this one 2196 so between that must be the oil water contact around 2162 or we can also go to 2d map and then we can check the layer yeah the jk I mean IK. So here the oil water contact is around 2100 and then move like this. The oil water contact locally here is around 2187. Okay. So by defining the equilibration here, there we will have the oil water contact established throughout the reservoir. Okay, and then go back to average 3D there at this depth, our oil water contact. Okay, and then summary as usual, schedule will be taken from this. Schedule will be important because we will provide the information for the polymer concentration from the include file of the schedule and then end as usual. Okay, and then let's go to grid. Let's see if there is something special. Most likely not. Okay, this is just for the access. This is the fault that we have. Okay, do we have the fault here? Let's see. Okay. From quick review, I I still haven't found the default. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Okay, so fault. You can see here we set our fault. And then we go to what is this? Okay. Doesn't matter, I think. Yeah, this is basically about our grid. Everything here is about the grid. And pinch, init, agnum, right? So basically, we define cells that are active and inactive. Okay. Active will be valued one, like this one. And then inactive will be zero there zero so that's for the ecnum and what else yeah this is inside the grid you will always find this type of 
you know, configuration of data will be massive like this if it is a real model. Okay, but that's not the point of this exercise. And then let's continue to props, which is very important. 